What's good, fam? Yeet. All right. You here for the confession? Yes, sir. Now, what is this motherfucker wearing? This grown ass man cannot be serious right now, bro. What is he? How? Why what is that? Why he got two Balenciaga fanny packs? What the? I thought Balenciaga was finished. Y'all already know what happened with that. And for Christ's sake, he's got the snowboarding goggles. And look at those pants, the fake LV. Fake LV pants, boy. Those things fake as fuck, boy. Oh, and a Travis Scott shoe. Based off this outfit, this dude gets no bitches. This is the guy that uses V Loan as his personality trait. No bitches. No bitches. No bitches. That's all I'm feeling off this fucking outfit. This is what happens when every kid gets an iPhone and they just get on the explore page and they're fed this type of stuff. And why he wearing 20 different designer brands? This is the type of guy whose favorite word is Riz. And ironically, he has none. Yeah, man. So like, where are you from? I'm originally from Maryland. This guy looks like a wannabe minimalist. He thinks by wearing earth tones that he's going to be more sophisticated. Which is complete malarkey because anyone can wear a plain shirt. Dude thinks because he's wearing gray that he has a PhD in maturity. I guarantee this dude doesn't even have a phone case on his phone. This is the type of dude that when he goes to the mall with his girl, he goes, can we stop at Uniqlo real quick? Dude want to be a Uniqlo mannequin so bad. He'd probably be in conversations like, ha less is more. This is the type of dude that brags that he reads books and be posting him on his Instagram story like, this is a great book. You guys should read this. This guy clearly wants to be Mark Zuckerberg so bad. Talking about some, oh, when I get up in the morning, oh, it's less of a choice to just choose the same shirt today. Dude, you're not Steve Jobs. Dude watched one Tyler the Creator documentary on YouTube and bought these. Yo, is this a line for the convention? Yup. Yes, sir. Oh, sick. What in the sicko mode does this guy have on? Is this motherfucker a time traveler from 2017? Not the snow goggles. He's the type of guy to yell out, you're creasing your shoes. He's the type of guy to say, last night was a movie. Yeah, we know damn well he ain't do nothing. Are we wearing v loan with no friends? I bet you this guy got the Travis Scott Reese Puff Box displayed in his room. Next to them Supreme Oreos. You already know this guy got every Supreme accessory. He got the Supreme nail clippers. The whole toiletry bag. He probably said some shit like, when to rock, when to stock. Shut up, boy. Oh, and who's this guy supposed to be? Dude look like he just went to a thrift store, just went to thrift convention and just bought everything there. Bunch of overpriced old ass shit. Wearing the same ass jacket thing. Probably says Budweiser on the back or something. NASCAR looking ass thing and look at him wearing that busted ass tommy hilfiger old ass t-shirt bro probably paid like 150 bucks for that old ass t-shirt at some upscale t-shirt vintage t-shirt reseller but really he just got ripped off he's the type of guy that wears vintage shirts and says statements like they don't make them like this anymore and he got them thick ass boot cut jeans and of course he has the creased ass air force ones congratulations dude probably wears the same pair every day how original dude probably goes to a skate park with a skateboard wishing he could skate but he can't he's a poser how you paying money for old clothes dude paid more money for that old t-shirt than what a new t-shirt would cost huh now this type of scenario probably happens very frequently you probably look at other people and think man their shit's whack and then you're thinking well i got the dope shit on and yes fashion is subjective but at the same time i definitely think there is overkill and then there's ways that you can do it right and there's this very important level of self-awareness that you have to have one of the biggest downsides that i see people fall into is when a cool product comes out when a certain style or product or brand becomes popular, people milk it to infinity. But I would say one of the single most annoying or prevalent trends is the hype beast trend. Because there's the obvious hype beast. It used to be more about bait and supreme, but now what do we got? Spider, those damn essentials hoodies. Everyone has one. Even I have one. Noah has one. Those godforsaken poosh shiesty masks. When are those gonna, when are we gonna stop wearing those? Basically the painful aspect about it is people who don't necessarily know what to wear see that, oh, the poosh shiesty thing everyone's wearing. Now. The essentials everyone's wearing. The bait, the off-white, this brand, that brand. And they do have some super cool pieces but then people beat that shit into the ground and then they layer them designer 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 and it just becomes overkill but then be careful because most people will be like i'm not a hype beast but then there's the i'm not a hype beast hype beast look at the images is this you is this you i fell victim to the i ain't gonna tell you you thought about getting those new bounce and the loafers don't lie you you thought those were cool and i want to give a big shout out to all the mexican hype beasts take a look that's gonna be your mexican hype beast starter pack where's the lie where is the lie we have the classic keen entrepreneur y'all know what i'm talking about you have the extremely basic hype beast who their pieces are crazy, but it's still the same shit that everybody else got. They just went on Pinterest once and bought everything that they saw in that fit. You've got the sports guy that's going to the big game. Starter pack, go ahead. I mean, come on. The hoodie with the jersey over it. And you know he got bad seats at the game. They're not even close up because they're too expensive. So he got way back, way in the corner. One of them corner seats. Who could forget the men's TikTok fashion starter pack? There's a whole fashion community on TikTok. They go crazy. Oh, well, Rhino, you're just being super critical. Wow, why? You can't even wear anything. Rhino, you suck. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I know you guys would never say that about me, but well, what? 
should people wear, what looks easy on the eyes. And we were basically wanting to share this with you guys. The first item on the list that I think is untapped is the cardigans. You got Noah here wearing the cardigan. I'm wearing one right now. Name one person right now that you know who wears cardigans. Exactly, you can't name them except for your boy who's got one on right now. I think that these are sophisticated enough and they're not hype beasty because I don't really see them out too often. The guys that wear the pearl necklaces, that has been a trend that I caught on to. I think it's something that maybe is getting beaten into the ground, it's getting there, but I don't think it's there yet. The sophisticated sweater look, Noah's rocking it here. I'm definitely a fan of plain sweaters, but if you can get a dope ass sweater, I've always been a fan of cool sweaters. I think if you're going to a fun event, the sweater is a cool move because there's so many different options. Now Noah, can you please tell the viewers, what is the one article of clothing that everybody watching this needs in their wardrobe? Because fashion subjective, I don't know what to wear. I don't want to be high beast. What do the people need to wear? Let me know. There is one brand you need to keep an eye on this year, and it's called Strawberry Park. It is a brand that we created. We've done a lot of drops so far. In each drop, we really take our time with the cut of the clothing and the quality. We look at all the materials, the fit, and we make sure that they're one of a kind pieces. This pink Letterman jacket is not released yet and will be released sometime in early March. We have a lot of drops coming before then, after then. So if you want to get your hands on this pink Letterman jacket or want to stay up to date with all of our other drops, make sure you guys follow at Strawberry Park on Instagram. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel, Strawberry Park, where we'll be doing a whole bunch of vlogs, behind the scenes on the clothing, lots of cool content over there. We know you guys have been missing the vlogs. Well, they're coming back. We appreciate you guys and thanks. See ya. Heard it was gonna rain today. Ha, ha, ha.